everyone and welcome to my December favourites. So we are officially over Christmas now and it's going to be the start of a new year soon which means I will give you kind of my list of favourites from the year of 2013 but I also wanted to just share with you a couple of products that I've been loving during the month of December and I've got quite a few things here that I've been really enjoying. I'm going to start with makeup. The first thing I've been using this month has been this highlighter and this is the Make Believe Enhance um, luminized skin highlighter which looks like this it's just a very very kind of pretty highlighter I've been using this on the tops of my cheekbones it's a cream highlighter and it just helps to kind of add a little bit of luminosity and liven up your face a little bit because my skin has been being quite dull looking then another thing I've been enjoying this month is a lip gloss and this is the Revlon um, Cherries in the Snow lip gloss. Now obviously it's nothing like the actual lipstick colour, it's kind of very natural and pretty but it's a very kind of nice wearable colour and I really like Revlon, lipsticks, Revlon lip glosses in general. I'm not a massive lip gloss person but if I was Revlon are the way to go for me. They're kind of not sticky and they're pigmented enough. Then I've got two nail polishes here that I've been really enjoying this month. The first one is also by Revlon and this is Revlon Red and this is a great Christmas colour because it's just your kind of standard red. It's got enough vibrancy to it but it's dark at the same time and it's just a really beautiful thing. The only thing I kind of find a bit annoying about Revlon is the brushes. I find the brushes are a little bit skinny but the colour is really gorgeous. And then the other one is um, I wanted to call it Bohemian Rhapsody, Blue Rhapsody, not Bohemian Rhapsody, um, and it's this one by Essie, it's a very kind of festive colour, it kind of reminds me of like ice skating or something, and really lovely, again I love Essie nail polishes, the brushes, just the formula, everything about them I love. And then I've also got a fragrance that I've been loving this month. Um, and I've been changing my fragrance a lot. I'm going to do a video soon about kind of my top picks for winter fragrances and that kind of thing. But I've been wearing this all month pretty much. And it's the Diesel Loverdose Taboo Perfume. And it's very kind of sweet and it's a little bit... Um, different to what I would normally wear but I've been really enjoying this because I like to have something that's a little bit heavier and a little bit sweeter during the cooler months but it's not too overpowering and it's not too vanilla-y because I don't like that. So that's the fragrance I've been wearing all month. Then um, I've got one skincare, well not skincare, body care item really that I've been loving this month and it's the Body Shop Macadamia, um, not Macadamia, Sheer Butter, sorry, um, the Macadamia Winter Brown. The Body Shop Sheer Butter Body Butter, and I just love the Body Shop Body Butters. Nothing makes your skin feel like them. Um, the scent of this is kind of just very clean and lovely, and the texture is just amazing. They just melt onto your skin, and it kind of feels a bit sticky, but it's a nice sticky. They're kind of not something that sinks into your skin right away, but they hydrate it like nothing else, and I do think that they are kind of worth the money. They are very expensive, and you can get other body bottles that are cheaper, but they don't ever have the same effect as this. I really like these. Then I've got a couple of skincare items as well and the first one is by Elemis and this was actually part of one of their Christmas things that I mentioned in the Christmas gift guide but this is their Cellular Recovery Skin Bliss Capsules and they're basically just these little capsules of oil and you have the kind of green ones and the pink ones. I kind of hold it like that, hopefully you can see. I don't want to kind of move it around too much, but that's what a capsule would look like. And you kind of break open the capsule and then you apply it on your skin. It really, really makes your skin feel lovely and you wake up in the morning and you've got a kind of very dewy, glowing complexion. And I think it's just a really nice idea. I like LMA skincare in general, to be honest, but a really lovely idea and it has helped kind of my skin get back to normal because it has been a little bit weird lately and kind of a little bit dry. Then the other two skincare items I have got here are the L'Oreal Skin Perfection 3-in-1 my Purifying Micellar Solution. I know I'm really late on the bandwagon with this one, but I just kind of never felt the need to buy it. I bought it a couple of days ago, um, not a couple of days ago actually, it was last weekend, what am I talking about? Um, I bought it when I was in Asda because it was on offer for £2, I grabbed it and I really like it. It's the kind of least greasy thing that I've ever used and I've been enjoying using micellar waters instead of a toner because I found that toner just kept aggravating my skin a little bit so I've been using this kind of instead of a toner and I really like it I've kind of used a fair amount of it as you can see and it's really nice and then also this is actually a repurchase and I rarely repurchase skincare but this is the NSPA revitalizing vitamin toning mist I like using a toning mist in the morning and this one is really lovely because 
it kind of gives your skin a little bit of a boost but it's got lovely ingredients in it like witch hazel and that kind of thing and I was using one that was kind of helping with my oiliness but now it's gotten cooler my skin's not up that oily and I just want to kind of give it a little boost and this is really lovely again this is really really inexpensive I think you can only buy these in Asda um, which isn't where I normally shop I just happened to be next to one when I was going to the cinema and I went in and I had to look and I had to pick this up they had a couple of other bits from the Inspire range that I really want to try so let me know what things from that range you like because I think they look really cool. And then the last category is hair care. I've been using a lot of hair care this month. The first thing is a shampoo, and this is a really boring product, but this is the Boots um, Expert Build Up Removal Shampoo. I've had a really bad case of kind of getting build up in my hair, and my hair's just been being really strange, and my scalp was being kind of really dry and flaky, and it's not something I've ever experienced before, and I couldn't quite understand why it was happening. But I bought this and it really does help to kind of leave your hair feeling clean and you don't get that weird residue. And um, it's very inexpensive as well. It's kind of like the Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo. It's sort of similar to that. It doesn't smell very nice, doesn't do anything amazing except it kind of clears up your scalp. Then the shampoo and conditioner combo I have been using this month, I really like. And it's these ones by John Frieda and they're the Brilliant Brunette Shampoo and Conditioner. The condition is lovely, it's kind of got shimmer particles in and it really makes your hair look very, very shiny. I don't know if you can kind of notice, I feel like it's harder to get curly hair to look shiny, but my hair looks much shinier than it usually does. And um, they smell gorgeous as well, they've kind of got a slight tropical sort of coconutty scent to them. They smell really nice and they're both um, really, really fantastic products, so I really, really like these and I would consider repurchasing. And then I've got a hair mask as well that I've been really enjoying this month. And um, This is the TG Catwalk Oatmeal and Honey Hair Mask. It smells amazing, it's very thick, it kind of nourishes your hair. I don't use it that often because my hair doesn't really need it, but maybe sort of once every two weeks I'll kind of have a nice um, relaxing bath and use this, and it really does kind of nourish your hair deeply. And then last but not least, my styling product of the month has been the TG Bedhead Foxy Curls Extreme Mousse. I really like this. It smells so good. Oh my god, it, all TG hair products just smell so nice. It kind of smells very sweet, and it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I like how this smells, and it is a nice kind of control mousse. It really helps to hold the curl in. So those are my kind of beauty favourites, and then my random favourites. I haven't got a YouTuber to recommend this month, just because I haven't discovered anyone new. But um, in terms of TV shows, my favourite TV show this month has been hands down Homeland. Um, I don't watch it on Channel 4, I think it's on on TV. We download it and watch it so we're kind of an episode ahead. But um, yeah, since the return of Brody, I'm just obsessed with it. I just love him. I don't even like the actor, I just like the character of Brody. I just love him. And um, I know it's not got much left, I think there's only like one or two episodes left. And I will miss watching the last one while I'm away, but I will find a way to watch it because I can't miss it because I love him. And um, yeah, so I've been loving that. I always love Homeland. I think it's just a remarkable program. And then the other thing um, that was a little bit of a disappointment this month was I went to see The Hunger Games. I was a huge fan of the first one. I'm a huge fan of the books. And I didn't really like it. I just felt like it was kind of a bit rushed and very similar to the first one. And they didn't give you kind of all the background stuff that they did in the book and I just I don't know I feel a little bit disappointed I love Jennifer Lawrence she's my ultimate girl crush but I just really wasn't um, super impressed by that but that is my favorites my last favorites for the year of 2013 can you believe that we've gone another year so here's to next year being fantastic and filled with lots of other favorite products and I will see you then bye